in the previous video we learned how using this kind of syntax we were able to you know produce proc report in different application like pdf and after that we learned when we generate a basic proc report something like this and when we export that in pdf that looks something like this and we learned how can we change the style of this header this particular part is called the header and from this we learn to change and make it something looks like this right so today we are gonna be learning two more things one we are gonna learn how to make modification in row heading whatever you see over here you see hybrid SUV sedan support sports truck wagon etc right and along with that we also gonna learn how to make style changes in this particular title so in every proc report we all know how to not only in proc report any processor we know how to produce a title right so by now i believe you must have been championed and you are very much capable of understanding this kind of proc syntaxes right so i am not going to be focusing on this part directly i would take you how to you know modify the style of this title and the row heading in previous one we learned how to change column heading so today we're gonna be focusing on row heading so let's start with changing the title first okay so it's the same way right we're gonna say proc template and here we're gonna say run and here we will say edit and we gonna pick any existing style from the styles library right so styles dot daisy this is a default style template which is already available in sas what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit that and we're gonna put it in the same library styles dot new daisy this is what we're gonna call this right and whatever new style we are going to make over here we're gonna use just right over here now this is the syntax to edit that now what is the syntax to actually edit this this is the initial part right so you have seen that in previous video also again here i'm just going to cover that here it says all that you need to do is say sys sorry style and then you're gonna say system title all right system title and then put this slash and then just after that what you're gonna do is you're gonna just put a semicolon and then after that you're gonna say end and over here we will be using each of the things one by one for example let's start with changing the font color so for that we're gonna say foreground equals to red right let's try this let's try running this so when we run this what will happen is this particular style will be edited and a new style will be created which is called new daisy which would have all the things same as how it is in daisy the only thing which will change is foreground color of title that means font color okay that's what it's gonna change so this will be created with this particular name let me run this particular thing and show it to you there seem to be some error let me figure it out what is the warning message that we have here it says warning style dot new daisy not found okay so here there is one spelling error right so i just fix it now and now this is completed and when you come over here and when you just open this what you see is the style font color is changed bravo now let's change the background color yes we have the option to change background color as well let's say background color background color we're gonna say black let's say this this is going to look very interesting you know and let's run this and then just open it and here we go right now next thing which we're gonna change is font size font size which we're gonna make let's say 10 and then we're gonna say font style font style we're gonna say let's say italic we want to make it italic and then we can 
change font weight as well which we can say bold and then we can change the font name as well which is for that the syntax is font face so font face let's use uh, let's say times new roman times new roman i'm not sure if this spelling is correct let's see what happens okay now we made all these changes now you come back over here and just open this and here you see you know this is looking little interesting isn't it it says this is style testing report that's the report name and here background color is changed font is changed font size is changed and whatever changes we created over here everything has been applied just right over here so now i believe you understood how to make appearance changes or style changes for a title now the next thing which i'm going to tell you is how can you make changes in the row heading for example we want to apply all these kind of style to this row heading as well how can you do that so for that all that you need to do is just from here system title instead of system title what you can do is you can just say row header that's it and just run this and now you just open this particular report from here and just check this out you see here that has been changed though it doesn't look very good but now we just learned that we can make these changes right now you can do the adjustment as per your requirement now if you want to have both of these two things here i just changed system title to head row header now what if you want to keep all i mean both of those two things so all that you need to do is just keep both of these two things system title and then run this then in the report whatever you generate there seem to be some problem i believe there should be only one header i mean this we can keep end statement should come only once let's try this if that works yeah that works let's open this and see what happened Ooh, here we can see that you you know we see that report title and the row header both of those two things have been changed in terms of the style so this is how we can make changes in row header we learn to make changes in row header and system title in the next video what we're going to learn is how can we make changes in body text or whatever is populated over here along with that we will also learn how to make changes in table grids right for now this is it i just encourage you to go ahead and practice it as much as you can thank you very much for watching the video wish you very